Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today I have kind of a little bit different of a haul than some of the usual things I do but this is all things from Boutique 1861. Now I have reviewed them before on my channel but I usually just get like one or two things. Today I have a couple full outfits that I wanted to show you guys. Now this is a retail store that's based in Montreal, Quebec in Canada. Typically the items are kind of vintage inspired. It is a boutique so they kind of select items from multiple different designers and stores to include in their selections. So they usually only have like 20 or 30 of an item. They don't have like thousands of them like a traditional store might so my advice if you do see something that you love make sure you buy it it will probably be sold out if you try and wait for a sale now that's not to say that you shouldn't search the sale racks a lot of times if you look in the sale section on their website you can get things for amazing prices also please do keep in mind this is not a discount retailer you are not going to be paying like forever 21 or shein prices i would say the average price for most things is like 40 to 60 dollars for a top like 80 to 150 dollars for a lot of the pants like it definitely can be more expensive the sales are usually like up to 60 percent off so you can get things much much cheaper if you're willing to wait but it is very high quality in my experience everything i've ever purchased from them has been amazing it's held up for many years and i like to be able to support a local canadian business they do also have a section on their website where you can filter by only items that are made in Canada if that's something that matters to you. Otherwise, they do have selections from all over the world of just really cute, vintage inspired apparel. Now, I actually have not looked at or tried on anything yet because I wanted to show you how they do packaging. Even the tape is like this pretty pink. It has their logo in it, which is of course the sideways profile view of a woman, kind of vintage looking. It always has a little sticker on it that's been spritzed with perfume. Personally makes me sneeze. I can't do most perfumes but it's still very, very cute touch. When you open up that outer tissue paper, there's this really beautiful vintage inspired tissue paper on the inside that holds your package. And then it's all wrapped up. It's got a little note. They always do a handwritten note. It's adorable. On this little postcard, it says Merci on the back. Of course, thank you in French. And now I guess let's get into the try-ons. And of course you'll see these items are not like wrapped in individual plastic because these are things that actually would have been hanging in their store. So they do have like a storefront in Montreal and I'll include the address and a link to the website down below in case you're interested. I know that they definitely ship to the US. They might ship to other countries as well, uh, but I would definitely encourage you to check it out. So this little peplum top is the first thing that I purchased. Now this is made with recycled materials. So it is very, very soft and silky on the inside and then the outside is more of like a textured fabric. Um, if you look at this peplum part where it's kind of shiny and soft looking, that's what the inside of it is made of. So it feels really, really good on your skin. It obviously feels like a really high quality piece. Now I love these like sort of peplum tops for wearing to work, which is why I've paired this with just a pair of like my black skinny leg dress pants. So I would personally wear this to work with a pair of pumps or heels and then maybe like a longer kind of chunky necklace to kind of up the visual appeal a little bit. Now something like this is great because you can easily wear a cardigan or something over top if you're cold at work like I always am. But if you're warm, like this is something that's appropriate, obviously longer sleeves to just wear at pretty much any workplace. It also is great with a peplum style shirt if you, you know, are feeling like really bloated one day, you're on your period, you just can't be bothered, I feel like it's really nice to have something that you're not going to have to worry about being skin tight. It's flattering, it's cute, I love that it's like slightly longer at the back, and I just think that this is a very cute top. And of course, 
for anybody wondering, I did get this in a size small. Um, I got both of the tops in a size small. All right, so here is a whole outfit. Both of these pieces are from Boutique 1861. This top I'm absolutely in love with. It is super, super soft. It just has this really beautiful, um, kind of like a very shallow v-neck, but then it has kind of like the lace overlay. And it does also have that lace V at the back as well. I love the pink color, I think. It is very vibrant. It's a little bit different than a lot of the pinks that you usually see in more of like the fast fashion-y types of tops right now. It definitely is more of like a vintage throwback shade. Now I am not wearing a bra with it right now. I don't think you need to. It's not see-through or anything. And I do think that a lot of more vintage pieces look a little bit better with kind of like the natural shape that you have versus like a very rounded like bra assisted shape and maybe that's just me maybe i'm crazy but feel free to let me know if you agree i just feel like it definitely looks more akin to what i imagine or what you would see if you look at like old vintage pictures when people used to wear like the more pointy bullet bras it just like more matches the natural womanly shape that you have now i'll untuck it for a second just so that you can see the length but this basically stops like exactly where at least in the front where a pair of like lower rise pants would stop. So a pretty average length. It's not super long, which is one of my biggest pet peeves with tops. I hate when they're way too long. The back comes down very slightly further, but I love this top. I think it's really, really beautiful. I'll wear this to work all the time, but I also can see wearing it with a lot of the nice cute skirts that I have as well. Now for this skirt, and I'm unsure how I feel about it, so you'll have to let me know. But I got this skirt in a size medium based off of the measurements, and I would say that the website on Boutique 1861 has very, very accurate measurements in terms of like, they'll give you the waist and hip measurements for absolutely every skirt or pair of pants that you're interested in. You can also live chat with people, which I'll talk about that a bit more for our next piece. But this skirt, I decided based on the sizing chart to get a medium. I went to pull it on over my butt. There's absolutely no way in hell it would not have gone on. So I decided to pull it down over the top. Big butt girls will understand. Sometimes that's what you have to do. And it fit perfectly that way. But now I find that maybe I should have gotten a small because it just is kind of loose at my waist. And obviously I don't want to pull it down and have it sitting much lower uh, because then it just does kind of an awkward thing with the length of the skirt. I think one of the things that I'm struggling with with this skirt in particular is it's almost so shiny that to me at least, and maybe it doesn't look this way on camera, but when I look at it in the mirror, it almost looks like it's trying to be like faux leather, especially in this back part that's all kind of like ruched up. And obviously there are still tags here, so like it makes it sit a little bit weird, but I just am not sure. Like I really thought that I would love this and it would be a new like go-to skirt for me, but I feel like between the length is a little bit awkward on me and also it being a bit too big, plus the addition of like the fabric just doesn't quite look the way I was expecting it to look. This is probably a piece that I will end up sending back. All right, so I have to be a bit further back for this because I've got gigantic heels on to show off this skirt. So let's talk about this. This is the reason that I placed this order in the first place. I really wanted this skirt. I kept seeing pictures of it. It looked adorable. I wanted to live out my princess daydream and have like this giant poofy skirt to wear. I ended up using the chat function to talk to somebody to help me with fitting for this because they gave a waist measurement, not a hip measurement. The waist measurements were really, really small. Like I believe the size small waist measurement was like 24 inches maybe. And my waist measurement is certainly not that. So I was very confused about what size I should get. 
it turns out that this is actually like elastic so I didn't really need to worry about it so much but the lady ended up telling me that I would most likely need a size large based on my hip measurements which of course is the widest part of you which for me is pretty wide I don't think that I ended up needing a large now the large and the medium were the same length so it certainly wouldn't have helped me in the length department to go down to a medium it just would have made it slightly tighter because this is pretty loose on me at my natural waist now this skirt basically has a soft silky lining on the inside and then it just has like this really soft fluffy chiffon over top of it i think that it's very cute however i will never be able to wear it anywhere other than to take photos because it is so long. So I am five foot one, I'm short, I know, but I'm wearing this <laughs> with these pretty high wedges and it's still not that close. Like I still have maybe four inches of extra fabric. So if you are like super model height, like five foot 10 woman with like great killer long legs, this will probably work for you. For me, it does not. And that makes me very, very sad because I love it. My idea for this is actually to wear this skirt with like a cute little short white baby doll tee, take some really cute pictures in it, but it's just so freaking long. Like I will end up stepping on it and ruining it. I honestly might see if it's possible to get it shortened to actually be like a proper floor length skirt at my actual height because this is something that I wouldn't necessarily want to wear like super high wedges with all the time. I personally think this would be cuter with like a little like short one inch pair of like kitten heels or even like with a cute little pair of all white like faux leather runners. I think that would be way cuter with this than wearing my gigantic like straw wedges now lucky for me they do have a really good returns policy so you can return anything within 30 days after receiving it and i believe right now that's actually extended to either 40 or 60 days because of the covid situation now even though we are in covid and like everything is taking so long to ship i got this in a day and a half so i did not pay for shipping it was free because I ordered more than $100 worth of merchandise, but it absolutely blows my mind that these like small independent retailers are able to ship something to you in two days and these giant mega corporations are taking like a month and a half. Uh, it's just interesting, interesting thing I thought I would bring up. Let me just take off these heels and show you just how long this skirt is. So without the heels, this skirt is just like a flopping fish on the floor basically i probably have like a foot of extra fabric and obviously it's cute like i imagine me running holding it up like this it's cute but it's just too long i'm gonna have to see if somebody can hem it now last thing that i got every single time i order from them i'm always in awe of how cute a lot of the sunglasses are and the sunglasses that they carry are actually like effective against the sun unlike if you buy a five dollar pair of sunglasses from like forever 21 or something a lot of them are not so i got these ones they're just like a very simple like tortoise shell style sunglasses i think that they'll be great for the summer i think they're really cute i need to try and not scratch them because i have an atrocious habit of throwing them into my purse and then they end up getting horribly gouged and scratched and then I go to put them on to drive and I'm like, oh, I can't wear these to drive because I can't see. So these are all the things that I bought from Boutique 1861 this time. You'll have to let me know what you think about them. I know that the vintage look is not for everybody. I know that gigantic pink poofy mega skirts are not for everybody. I full, I'm fully aware of that. But definitely let me know, did you like any of the pieces? Do you hate them? What do you think I should keep? What should I send back? I am almost certainly going to be sending back that black skirt. It just didn't really work for me, unfortunately. I might also send back the peplum top just because 
I feel like the length of the arms is probably like a bit too long for me after wearing it around for a little while. But for sure let me know. And if there are any other like cool independent Canadian retailers that you know of and you would like me to try or any like cool online stores that you've always wanted to know if their products are good or not, for sure let me know down in the comments. Let's have a conversation about it. And I would love to try them out for you. I would love to be your guinea pig. Now, with all that being said, if you are not already subscribed to me and you would like to see more, please hit the big red subscribe button found down below. Also be sure to hit the bell notification button. I do put out new videos every week and you will be notified when I post. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there and I hope that I will see you next week. Bye.